The three supers. Uh, oh, if you're talking about like top three, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah sure. I, I want to see D3 on that yeah. on that BR. It would be cool. I mean, he's been been overdue, honestly. True. But anyway, let's get into it. So K Bean showing his stuff with the uh, prodigal Bowser has had this big glow up in recent months, and uh, now the test is going against John Lyon, Squid Plumber. And, but he's got the four John Lyon tag. It's got, it's got some infighting right here among the pride. I mean, it's a team. It's a John Lyon team kill. It's okay. Gotcha, gotcha. It has to happen here in, uh, in Loser City. All right, trying to go ahead and get the axe to connect. So far, Bowser hasn't had the opportunity to play neutrals, and that is um, to be expected, Connor, for this matchup. Great instant turnaround grab right there, setting up for solid damage, and now all of a sudden, uh, Squid Plumber is at kill percentage. Oh, as you said, I got some fire of my own. Here, have some of this, and, and falling back with it as well, just enough to whittle down the shield and pump Squid Plumber through. So now we've got more edge guards, and we're looking really, really tough on that shield pressure. I always worry about that because, you know, Bowser can just break the shield in an instant. Three. But your stock can easily just get broken by a quick read. I'm so oh. mad. KB just walked up and waited for Squid Plumber to make a mistake. I don't know. And Squid obliged. I don't know about that one. Just run up and look at him for a minute. It's like, I'm big, I'm invulnerable, what are you going to do about it? Did he just run up and up smash? Unfortunately, yes. He did. All right, so we got both hits of down tilt on shield. We are feeling bold today. Kill him. Oh, we go for the jab instead? No, that's a charge forward smash moment right there. If he had done the second jab, he would have got the, the spot dodge read. He only went for one hit of the jab. True, true. I, if, I'm, if I'm a heavyweight, though, I'm, I'm playing for the home runs there. Boosh, boosh, you got to hit the one, two. Mm -hmm. All right, waiting for something here. Good actual uh, reset to the platform. Squid Plumber knew that he was in range to get, like, side beat or something like that, and that's probably what Kaden was looking for. First spot dodge gets K-Bean into a decent enough spot, but that perfect placement of the Holy Water just ever so subtly falling off stage right. to make that ledge opportunity just not work out. Okay, but we do have the F-Tilt as a way to kind of muscle through a lot here. Duffed, and we by the are way. going to be looking for it every single time. Catching the tether grab with the forward air off ledge. That's the Bowser Classic. The runoff fair is a tried and tested move. Down till two, two hits right there, muscling through that tough guy from Bowser. Has to stand or get up into the axe, and then Squid just hitting every hitbox possible. Okay, yep, we get a couple more hits here. Enough, that spacing is good enough too, apparently. Tough guy through the holy water at 80, by the way. That's silly. I mean, he, he was also using get up attack, so it's like, it's interesting. Side B not going to connect for this Bowser main, trying to get the high recovery, and that was a bit of a sellout right there as Squid Plumber was already and waiting with the charge forward smash for an easy stop. Yeah, you got to expect that those Holy Waters are going to come out just about every single time. And uh, yeah, it's easy pickings on a bigger body like Bowser, because if you do what Pinkfresh was doing in the last set and DIing up, uh, guess what? You're now in range of my angled up F smash. And Boy, I don't even need to be close to hit you with the big one. Yeah, SDI works unless you're a big body. That This is big bodies don't get that privilege. Yep. Like the, the skinny privilege for Min Min, no, she gets out of that for free right there. She just, sure. it's like, listen, I, just because I'm working the restaurant doesn't mean I'm eating. Them. That's right, that's right. Bowser, no, he's been he's been having one or two too many lunches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to get the family meal up in there. So. <laughs> now let's see. As game two rears its ugly head, to wonder what K-Bean is be switching up to try to beat down the defenses and the walls that Squid Plumber has so easily set up on Bowser. Yeah, it feels as though he hasn't really been playing as grounded as I'd expect from Bowser. Like, we've seen a lot of just, like, jump-ins. And against a lot of characters, it works because Bowser's aerials are surprisingly disjointed. But um, not as disjointed as this character's. Yeah. Belmont's, is, Belmont's hitboxes are big. Certainly. He's going to force out a lot of air dodges so we can get those big hitboxes very easily. Being all the more likely to fall into those when he feels pressure, when he feels scared in these situations. He's keeping his cool as of right now, but might have showed his hand looking for that back air. Squid Plumber is going to be looking for something here on the platform, but. Oh, you got turned around in Squid Plumber. That is an errant down air for sure. Oh, the platform actually stopped him from getting his drag down there that he was looking for on the conversion on the other platform. Down smash definitely not going to connect right there. At 34%, I, that might actually have killed. A little bit more disjoint of the neutral air does allow Squid to reset the situation and will continue applying damage. Jumps into the axe. KB no longer has double jumps. This is going to be an easy end trap potentially, but gets clipped with a cross. That time, that tool not helping out Squid Plumber. Yeah, some of the angles on the knockback of some of these projectiles just didn't work out in his favor. 
What? I mean, we're trying to get the side B. I think we are tunnel visioning a little bit too much. Oh, yeah. The command grab. Uh, KB's got to be careful here because, I mean, that's something you got to really know that you're going to be able to get if you're going to go that close to Belmont. He does get the parry, though, so setting up another hit trap situation. A great stall from Squid going as low as possible and avoiding that two-frame opportunity. Yeah, and going through with the uh, with the upbeat, making a high recovery, not snapping the ledge was super smart. He's going to jump. We've got more pressure here. Air dodging in, but takes center stage. Couldn't isn't all bad. Top flat, no, good DI for Squid Plumber, and it still is not enough, though. I guess at 162, with Bowser with a smidge of rage, yeah, you're not expecting to survive that too free. It is true, but I think the DI after the landing, I think might have not helped Squid Plumber. It looked like he might have been DIing a little bit more. Yeah, as good point. To, as he's trying to, like, hold himself in. True, true, good point. Okay, still we've got a, a little bit of end lag as we're throwing out the Holy Water just instinctively. Now, K-Bean can get a lot of damage with that Nair. We think about uh, Nair is kind of like one of those moves that, yeah, it's big, it's it's got some good range, it's like a great falling tool, but the damage on that thing is absurd. It's like 36 at max, it's yeah. kind of kind of insane. Off one hit, which is crazy, and it's like a Nair, it's a fast move. Recovering low, and Ash Sander get up yet again, but no actually chose to roll that time after the Holy Fire had dissipated. So now trying to rush in with that pivot canceled forward tilt, and that should be easy stock for K-Beam, because the second that you put yourself in disadvantage, you forget that since the past couple games, Bowser's been working on his 40 time. That's true, and how quickly he leapt off stage mm -hmm. to secure that. I mean, it felt like a, a continuation of what he had been setting up from the last game, uh, where he had gotten that runoff fair, but it wasn't at that range. Now he's taking more risk. He's, he's sure. going out and doing more, being more proactive with these edge cards, which I think is super important. And that secured him the game. So Squid Plumber now forced a little bit to the ropes, even in his little his new haircut. Come on, man. True, yeah. I mean, every now and then you got to remember that you're facing the thickness with the quickness. And in those positions, you got to react to what Bowser's putting down. And in that spot, reaction just were not there. K-Bean too fast for Squid in that position. But see if Squid Plumber is able to uh, just have a mental reset and give him the business. I, I am very unhappy that that Packer didn't hit. That was such a sick setup for K-Bean. Now K-Bean looking to go straight down out of the uh, the Holy Fire. Does not want to get caught in a mid-air situation against the Squid Plumber. We've seen where that goes. Does get caught up by the forward air yet again, and then a double projectile into upbeat. Tons of damage from that one read. The neutral air does, neutral air dodge, excuse me, does manage to get KB back to stage, but for how long as he commits to that neutral B and squid back to full stage control, back to ledge trapping, back in the lead. This is kind of a clinic on how to beat a big body with a very good ledge trapping game and amazing range on your moves. The plumber is just showing us how it's done. For sure. Oh, Ooh. using the invulnerability on that shell with the up smash to get some solid damage. But yeah, you're not going to kill at that percentage. And instead, Squid Plumber is threatening it with the kill sparks right there. Does sell out with a low recovery. Still managed to get something out of that situation with the up B, though. Yeah, I'm surprised Squid Plumber went for that angle when he saw that KB was looking for that higher recovery. It felt like it was a little bit of a misreaction. He did start it after we saw the upbeat start with KB. Oh, regrab? Huh. Oh, it doesn't get the punish though. It's Squid instead hard commits to a jump in. It looked like that was uh, that's, that's selling out right there. That was selling out a little bit, and he does end up uh, taking a bit of an early stop. Um, so we're gonna take that if we're K Bean, and all of this rage can now be used uh, on this second stop to try to get us uh, something more tenable. Oh, we got to Yeah, exactly. I was waiting for the air dodge from Squid Plumber, and so was KB. That would have been the time. You jab, you force the roll in, you turn around, you forward smash. That's the time. You gotta, you gotta get those, those like, like the elite smash pressure situations. Like really break it out. Pressure. Oh, again, yeah, just running up to him and body blocking him almost. Even if you don't get hit, you have to di away. Otherwise, you're gonna get hit by that forward air. Well, just being in the range, even if you're not hit by the uh, the whip. Sometimes just being in the range where it potentially thinks that you're a target yeah. means it doesn't snap to ledge. Agreed. It doesn't play the grab game. Side B out of the tech J situation means 22% to start this last stock here. KB and kind of sitting pretty. This is what heavies want. Heavies want a scramble situation on the last stock spot. Pivot in into the grab, into the up air, actually. So trying for more, but goes to the neutral. Intercepted by the disjoint from Squid's own there. 
And we get the re-grab on the Holy Water. Just lands on the platform, does give yourself some spot here. Looking to bounce him on top of the platform for a little bit of extra damage. And now we get the perfect angle on that Holy Water as well. Look at all the shield pressure. KB just can't hold shield on ledge anymore. That, and I think if he fast fell the fair, he actually connects with that. Kabeen was very close from having a great situation this side. Instead, Squid Plumber keeping this advantageous state going, but again, fully commits in that situation. Gives Kabeen another opportunity to put him into an awkward spot. Catches the holy water, but still stuck in the corner right there. What do we do with this? No, oh, it actually triggers when you get hit while you're rolling in, and that's just enough for Squid Plumber to take the game. Now, was it just, correct me if I'm wrong here, Nerf, isn't that, wasn't that like an RNG chance? I think he dropped it because he got like the RNG hit. Right, you got you got knocked. I don't know if it's like all RNG at that percent. Hmm. I think at higher percent, I think it might be that you lose. So it's still a random chance, but it's like a higher random right, chance. Right, right, exactly. It's like 17% base and then it grows as you get higher and higher percentage. Something yeah. like that. But yeah, I mean, it is not, you don't always get hit by the, uh, or you don't always drop your, uh, your item mm -hmm. that you're holding if you get hit. Certainly it, fortuitous for KB, yeah. we'll say it that way. Yeah, it could also just be like the damage of the hit being uh, a determining factor. Sure, sure. So it's like you never know. A lot of these interconnected systems in this game can be very, very finicky. Yeah, a lot of like these situations where it's like, you know, you don't often see, only if you're playing like a like an item-based character would you really know all the intricacies, unless you're really commonly fighting them. True. Yeah, if you have a Diddy Kong in your region, I'm sure you know the exact <laughs> part of that mechanic because nothing triggers a Diddy Kong more than dropping his own banana when, after he worked all that time to get it. Exactly. All right, speaking of working all that time, we'll have to see if K-Bean, all the time that he's struggled and uh, strived to try to get in on Squid Plumber and try to use the dash shield and try to use the zone breaking tools as best as he can, will they work? As of right now, we get a grab and we're keeping it even. Offstage using the neutral B to get some damage there, but not too much else out of it. And Squid Plumber actually has the ability to respond aggressively. Gets a couple good hits off, and now we're back to Nooch. And this is where Squid thrives. Still offstage is where he doesn't. And that's where Kabeen can find all of his leverage. He just needs to get Squid offstage and find a, uh, an edge guard worth speaking home to about. Ah, oh, but we've got something here. Maybe we've got a runoff fair. Yeah, and the problem is that you misspace the dash attack in that spot, and then, yeah, directly setting up for that runoff fair. That's one of those where Squid's going to want that dash attack back and set up for that entire situation. Ugh, all of that. Look at that conversion. That was the back hit of Nair, by the way. He turned around on the platform for the grab. That is Squid Plumber reacting to the DI so well. Also, is it just me, or did that throw into the up air look true in that spot? I don't know. And that almost looked true because of the big body, or perhaps because of K-Bean's DI, but that's that's a 50, even if it's a 50-50, that's an awful spot. That is a bad spot to be in. And uh, this is also a bad spot because even though Squid Plumber kind of drops the uh, the edge guard a little bit, he's kind of like throwing throwing the whip a little bit too high up. Kevin takes the low route smartly, but doesn't get hit by the uh, the full down tilt. He just kind of hold on to the second hit. Squid Plumber just boops him back. Just goes for the standing grab right there. Instead, down air into the up air, trying for the axe to catch the aggressive landing. Instead, yet again, catching Kabeen, reaching out with them greasy mitts, trying to grab Squid. Oh my god, the old real back forward smash. Let him know, Kabeen. This is what I'm talking about. I said you got to bring out the elite smash tactics. And uh, that's the king of them all for King Koopa to rely on. Every now and then, you just could be, you just gotta swing for it. Exactly. You're not playing heavy to play neutral. You're playing to swing. And this is a move that will catch spot dodges almost every time. But now we're back in the we're back in the dark place. We're stuck in the corner. We're getting just absolutely demolished by these projectiles and these disjoints. And uh, even the shield poke on the down air right there, like that is. Going from bad to worse, Kabeen, this percentage starting to rack up to a point where Squid Plumber can threaten kills. He's getting bopped all, uh, all across the stage from one side to another. He's kind of throwing out a move, hoping that it works. It doesn't work, and Squid Plumber takes a whiff punish opportunity. Yeah, he's got the parry, but can't make anything out of it. Can't even run forward to grab space. That just shows how good Squid Plumber's spacing has been. But does make a mistake, can't land the Nair. That could have been a game changer nerf. It really could have been, because then you get yourself an advantage state. But this is one that you can use. Unfortunately, he does the same thing. He gets caught by the classic Squid Plumber aggressive recovery that has helped him so much. Kabeen gets beaten back yet again. All this damage, all this rage. 
the shield damage too is looking so small in that spot. I don't even think he could have gotten run forward shield. Does manage to get back, but it goes for everything with a side beam. Misses. Does get the neutral layer into the back here. Big damage. This is the terrifying spot for Squid Plumber. What does he do? Nothing. He just waits it out. Allows him to get the re-grab. The axes. No, no, no. Both hits on a jab on shield. That's so unsafe. He doesn't go for the fair. He baits it out. Hoping that Squid Plumber expedites a get-up option. Uh, he just doesn't. Squid Plumber gonna hang on to his options well enough. That's unsafe! Toss him off stage again. Wait out for the projectile. Squid Plumber in an awkward spot, but he can't get the up tilt. He can't blow up the standard get up. So full reversal. Now Squid in advantage yet again. More arrows and Squid sells out with the up B. And in those pressure scramble situations, you have to guess right. Yeah, you can see Squid Plumber like immediately after shaking out the tension from his hands. Like you could tell he was just like, I, I threw, I threw. Like you, you recognize like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, made a, I made a play. It didn't work. He'd gotten a lot of clips in that game uh, and some really, really sick stocks, some great conversions. Unfortunately, it just means that uh, K-Bean is able to take a game uh, when he does falter at the end of the day. Yeah, certainly an awkward spot in that situation. It's, it's one of those where at the end of it, one of two things are going to happen. If your mental is strong, you're saying, I sure. guessed, and it was a good guess. It just didn't work out. Sometimes that happens. Sure. Or you're going to start to lose confidence. Yeah. So we have to see here, is Squid going to be willing to pull that trigger again, or is he going to go revert back and play a little bit safer? I'm curious to see which which version of Squid we're going to get. I agree. I agree. I'm very interested to see how this one plays out, because we are in game five. KV, he's making some making some good plays here against Squid Plumber. It's just 90% uh, of the time, he's not able to play the game. That's that, that's the heavy life, my man. It it's just like, hey, every now and then, i got to make him count. But it's the heavy life against a PR player of this caliber as well. Squid Plumber makes this matchup look so abysmal for, uh, for Bowser. I think it might be. Because <laughs> it just, it feels as though Bowser, he only needs to guess right twice. But, I mean, you're taking away his pencil on the multiple choice in a lot of these situations. Exactly. This is the uh, this is the pull test right here. It's <laughs> like, you literally made it so I cannot do what I think I should be doing here. All right. All right, so now we got full stage control for Squid Plumber. High percentage advantage here. This is just, we got to tap it in. Instead, Kabeen fighting for his life, trying to get a little bit of damage. Gets the double jump up B, and that's crucial. 20 bucks says if Squid Plumber just did the up B, wouldn't have killed. Yeah, that probably move is not. very, very weak unless you get it as high as possible. True, that that, uh, that extra jump height really can be the most pain getting that kill. And so far, Squid Plumber showing great awareness of that fact. Doing the right things, and look at this drag down. We get more damage off the upbeat finisher. K-Bean back in the same spot that we were in the last game. And we've already seen a couple of these aggressive upbeats too, so I think that the an the question's been answered. Squid Plumber, unaffected by guessing incorrectly at the end of the last game. He is still willing to bet it all. And so far, it's coming up all squid. Definitely. Trying to get the returning cross, trying to do something here, give yourself the insurance. It does allow him to take control. K being forced back to the ledge, but look at that, a whiffed option. Squid Plumber bet it all on up smash. K being is gonna be able to not only take the up tilt to get him out of it, but the F tilted ledge to take the stock. But in an awkward position here as Squid Plumber comes right down from the Angel platform, swinging yet again another advantageous spot against Tipper back air and a full stock lead while K Bean, one stock, go home. This is tough. You're on your tournament stock. K Bean feels the pressure mounting, but if there's anyone who can make a play, even at the throes of death, it's Bowser, the heaviest of them all. He's, he's got this, this huge X factor. Uh, you, you, it's, all, it's not a comeback factor, but the rage is as close as it's going to get. Hold on, though. I want to talk about Bowser's, uh, Bowser's X factor. Let's talk about Squids, because this combo game has been immaculate, but does air dodge, and I think we are toast here, so K-Bean. Oh. You were hyping him up a little bit, Nerf, but I, I was kind of oh. about to talk Wait about K-Bean was done, but now... Opportunity abounds. Yeah, I mean, Squid didn't even give us a chance. He kind of like fumbled a play immediately, but it doesn't matter. He cleans it up. A JV2 in game five. Looked like there was an opportunity for Kavi to take an advantage state to take something and get himself uh, something to work with uh, beginning on that final stock. Mm -hmm. But Squid Plumber snuffed out the flame. Yeah, definitely a well earned victory for Squid Plumber because, I mean, real talk. Playing against heavies is like nine tenths fear. Oh, yeah. It really is like, oh my god, this dude yeah. can actually come back in that situation. But we wow. talked about needing to have that mental reset after the incorrect guess to end game four, and Squid showed that hey, I ain't out here to crack. I'm out here because I'm cracked.
That's true. That's bars right there.